Observing user interaction with different keypad designs by Jessica Medell. Have you ever considered the design of the keypad you use? This task will observe how a user interacts with different keypad designs and layouts. The aim of the task is to test the time it takes for a user to input different numbers into different keypad designs. Participants will be required to input four different phone numbers into four prearranged keypad designs. Who? The target audience is Southampton Solent students. However, within the university, there are many other people you may come into contact with and it is not always possible to distinguish between students and staff. Staff may be lecturers, tutors, members of the administration team, cleaners, catering staff, to name a few. There are also people visiting the university, such as prospective students, potential employees, guest speakers, members of the community. The university students will vary in age, gender, nationality and religious belief which needs to be taken in consideration when conducting the experiment. It might also be interesting to note down for when looking at the results. What? Approach the potential participant and request their time. If they do not agree to take part, find someone else. Once they have agreed, give them an explanation of the experiment. Place the keypad and the predetermined phone numbers in front of the user. Each keypad will be loaded before the user begins. Record the time taken to enter each phone number into each keypad. Record any comments and any mistakes that the user makes. Once the experiment has finished, request and record the user's feedback. Ask them what they think the purpose of the experiment was to see if they can remember the explanation from the beginning. Which keypad they preferred? Can they recall each of the keypads designs to see which one's the most memorable? And any likes or dislikes they had? How? Observe how the user first interacts with the keypad. Do they pick it up straight away or look at it first? Which hand do they use when they're holding the keypad? Do they use one or two hands? Their right or left hand? Thumbs or fingers? And does this change throughout? Where are they looking? Is it at the keypad, the phone numbers, or elsewhere? And how long for? Record how the user reacts to any mistakes they make. Did they pause, delete the mistake, or start again? Inconsistencies. The time of the day the experiment is conducted can lead to inconsistencies, but it is mostly down to the activities the participant has already undertaken or is about to undertake in that day. This can't be planned for, but keeping the time consistent would hopefully counteract it. Location links to time, as it is different points of the day, a location will be busier or quieter. Location contains the amount of people present, how much space there is to conduct the experiment, and the amount of light available. Another inconsistency factor is if the explanation given at the beginning is too brief, too informative, or wrong. The result may be inconsistent due to anomalies, recording the wrong data, or losing some of or all of the records. Persona. This is a persona that has been created to represent a general student at Southampton Solent University. They just study from one of the courses that is available.
Thank you for watching.